Hello and welcome back to the Critic Uculus on the Monk and today we are in Wasteland 3 because finally patch 1.3.0 is finally live. It is late but it is finally here. Now this one is called Robots and Rangers. So what is good about this patch? Why we've we been waiting for it? Well, first and foremost, it is stability. Now this comes with a lot of improvements and finally hopefully all the stability is finally in check if the game is now more stable for you please let me know down in the comments i was on it today for a few hours and it was all cushy my end i've had no problem whatsoever you know i'm on the original xbox and now the xbox series s and it's all good my end i don't really see any problem you know it's very fast very responsive um, had no crashes, no glitches or anything like that. So maybe this patch is the patch to finally actually fix all of that. Hopefully it's all behind us. Um, but if you know if you guys have had any problem, then please let me know down in the comments. I'd be very interested to know just how widespread these fixes have been, whether they have actually fixed everything or not. So apart from fixes or apart from stability improvements what else is there well there is cosmetic item as well there's been some cosmetic things added to help you how do we say role play maybe a little bit better uh, there's also an even easier mode been added i'm not exactly sure who that is for but maybe it's for more casual gamers i believe it's called journalist mode um, and you get to just basically experience the story which is which i guess is an, i mean the story in this game in wasteland 3 is one of the best story games i think um i've played in a very long time it's got a very immersive story um so that's there for any players that you know i guess are new to turn-based combat completely uh, maybe they're not even interested in necessarily the fight and nitty-gritty you know leveling up builds and all that jazz they can just load up, pick whoever, and get through the game and enjoy the story as I guess it was intended, which is interesting. Like I said, you know, I would have expected a harder mode to come out, um, but they've come out with an easier mode. So that's in place. But I think one of the most requested fixes is finally here. We can now 100% the game. That's right, all you achievement hunters out there, you should finally now be able to tick off those last couple of achievements. They fixed the bugs and the patches that prevented us previously from being able to 100% um, this game and get the platinum trophy. Um, so we can now finally get those last couple of achievements. I mean, literally, we've been completely unable to do it up until now. Um, so it's nice to see that they kept their promise. They had promised to fix it within this patch. Um, so it's nice to see that it's, you know, it's in the list. It's supposed to have been done. I personally haven't had a chance to, you know, complete um, those those achievements just yet but i will be on them hopefully my end it's all cushy let me know down in the comments again if you're able to tick off those last few achievements that you haven't been able to do so far let me know because again i'd be very interested to know if it is actually cushy bushy i think another interesting tweak that i believe they've done is the fact that when intelligence or when you're putting points within intelligence you now actually get a skill point per level you put in now it was two previously um, now it's every single level so this could be really interesting it could be it could make for some interesting builds it means we're gonna have a few more skill points to play about with um, i wasn't expecting this one to come up i didn't think it was going to be implemented i haven't heard of it before now um, but it's really nice to see i'm glad that it's been put in and uh, like i said it could make for some interesting builds now because we've got a few more extra points to play with you know potentially five more points um, and you know it, five points is a small amount but i think it can really help also, the time capsule challenge is now over. It's done and dusted. They did announce the winner. Um, so all of that has now been replaced with the winner's designed item. So that's in the game now. We can actually go make a new game, beat the uh, Golden Scorpion, and actually see what it is that they designed, which is quite interesting. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a look at that, see at that one. Now, there is obviously a massive list of things that um, have been fixed, have been changed. A few minor things added. There's not a huge 
amount of you know cosmetic items that have been added but what they've added has been a little bit nice now something that i didn't read throughout this list i did read it all through i didn't see them mention it but they've actually fixed the current skill book exploit so up until now the skill book exploit was the only exploit of the three major exploits that was still running throughout the game and it appears that that has now been patched now like i said guys i'm actually running on the xbox right now um, and as you can see, I'm trying to um, do the skill point skill book exploit as we are. This is kind of like a, a a character that I made for he's an explosive expert. But as you see, or actually we're about to see, I'm going to use the skill books. Um, they're not going to give me an option to drop them on the floor, and they're just going to add up like a regular skill point. Which is great to see that that exploit's actually been fixed. I think it was ridiculously OP. You could walk around with some absolute gods in a wasteland. Honestly, we don't need it. We are better rangers than that. We don't need this skill or this exploit. But it's interesting to see that it has been fixed. Like I said, I didn't see it personally within the patch notes. So let me know if you're actually able to still do this exploit, you know. Let me know if this is something that you're able to do on the PlayStation or maybe the PC. Uh, I think PC you always had to be on a controller for. So maybe worth pointing out. But the other major thing that they did mention was going to change is the quick slot. So previously we were all able to exploit the fact that you could go into your infantry change up whatever you got let's say you've got deployables let's say you've got meds or explosives or whatever it is up until now we've always been able to in the middle of a battle go into our infantry change our quick slot item and then reuse well that is gone that is a thing of the past we can no longer do that they have confirmed that it was an exploit it wasn't originally intended to work that way obviously you know there are certain skill points that you can add um is it skill point or perks that you can get which enable you to actually have an extra quick slot meaning that that was kind of useless up until now um so it's interesting that perk is now viable again that could mean that we're going to be you know changing our build slightly um but honestly i think this is a good thing i think that it was an underrated exploit within the game and I think that just changing this small thing could actually make combat that much harder. It means we're going to have to plan out our battles a little bit more. And of course, you know, we can't have everything on us now. So medics have got to be medics, you know, engineers or mechanics have got to be mechanics and so on. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as ever, I have been the monk. We've been the Chris Lee Kudos. And guys, I will see you in the next Wasteland video real soon. Catch you later, Rangers.